start answers click on the start button all programs answers 14.0 that's the version I'm going to use and workbench 14.0 and twiddle your thumbs for a bit until the workbench interface comes up. And workbench gives you access to various analysis systems and we will use static structural which lets us solve for the equilibrium of the structure. So highlight static structural and then drag it into the project page and that will create a static structural project and you can double click on the name and rename it so I'll call it stepped shaft and enter and before we go into geometry creation let's take a look at engineering data so double click on engineering data and that brings up the engineering data um, page and there is one material um, defined by default structural steel and you might see a view something like this um, so if you expand linear elastic and double click on isotropic elasticity you should get um, the isotropic elastic properties and you might need to expand this and you see the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio those are the only material properties that are going to matter in this problem and these are the values that are going to be used and since we will be working in PSI we can see the corresponding value in PSI by changing the unit here to PSI. So the Young's modulus that will be uh, used to create um, the element stiffness matrices is, is, uh, is that and similarly the Poisson's ratio. Keep in mind that these affect only um, the displacements and the strains they do not um, affect the stress concentration factor that we will calculate so really we didn't even need to come to the page because we're just going to use the default values for Young's model in Poisson ratio and we need to insert this uh, material properties into the model later return to project and save the project browse to an appropriate folder and give it an appropriate name so I will call it stepped underscore shaft and save it and if you go into the folder where you saved it you see that there is this file and there is this folder and keep in mind that you need both these to restore your project if you exit answers and you come back into it. So um, that's all there is to the startup step.